Hi there, I'm Clayton Morris with your Fox Tech Take. You know, this little device is causing quite a few waves in the tech industry. I always love the latest and greatest, and I've got the CEO and the creator, the man behind Transporter, this device which could really change the way we think about cloud storage in the home. Jeff Barrell is here joining me. Nice to see you, Jeff. Welcome. Nice to see you, Clayton. So, Transporter, take folks back a little bit on how you came up with this idea, what exactly it does, and why you felt that there was a need to bring this to market? Sure. Well, like most people, I want to share files, collaborate on files with friends. I want to back my data up somewhere. You know, if something happens at home, I just have all my digital photos sitting on my computer there. Um, but really, the only way to do any of those things today was with various cloud services. And I was concerned about privacy. And when you talk about cloud services, Dropbox. Things like Dropbox, right. yeah, absolutely. And, and similar services, Carbonite, those kind of services. And they certainly fill a need, um, but they didn't address all of the things that I was concerned about. Um, I was worried about privacy with my own personal photos and sharing those. Uh, and I was, as far as my backing up my data offsite, there was far too much. It would have cost me far too much to use regular cloud storage to do that. So, you know, I talked to friends, they had a similar problem. And then at the advice of another friend, I ended up talking to folks I knew in the legal and medical communities. And it turned out they couldn't use the cloud, they couldn't use services like Dropbox, again, because of various restrictions on what they could use. And so, you know, when I talked to them about the product, they were excited about it too. So given that, as, as just as regular consumers, we needed something, and right. given that it seemed that several different industries needed something too, we decided to get together and build something. So. For those of you who aren't familiar with Jeff's original work, you worked on Drobo. That's right, yeah. We founded Drobo back in 2005. Um, and the goal there was to make uh, safe, expandable storage just accessible to everybody. What we're doing with transporters, we're trying to extend that now beyond the home or small business to people you know, friends, colleagues you work with, or places where you maybe want another copy of the data for backup. So who is likely to buy transporter? Small business owner? Household? Yeah, we, th we think both. Um, so, you know, a typical household might buy one. Maybe you want to back files up. Maybe you want to share photos with family members and have them have a really easy way for them to share back with you. Um, it's great for that. For small businesses, if you need to access data at home or at the office or when you're on the road on your iPad or iPhone or something like that, it's great for that too. So, um, we're really targeting small businesses, maybe 25 people or less, and consumers. However, just since we did the Kickstarter last year, we've had a lot of interest from even larger companies where groups inside larger companies are interested in, in just having a really simple way to share files. Because it's secure. If you've got a business that needs to be passing information around that's confidential information, most companies have that. Right. Not wanting to put it up on some cloud service somewhere that you can't rely on, but having it in-house, having your own personal cloud to be able to share those files. That's exactly right. Everything about Transport is completely private. So the data only lives on the devices that you own and the devices that you share with. The files never go into the, never stored on the internet. Even at Connected Data, we make the transporter. We don't see the files, we don't see the file names. Everything's 100% private to you. So you can be assured that all of your privacy is protected in just the same way it is on your home computer. I should let our audience know I've been beta testing uh, the transporter for a few months now, and it's been very simple to set up. So take us, walk us through the setup process. I buy the transporter, it shows up at my home, and I want to get it, I wanted to get it up and running. What is the setup process like? Sure, we wanted to make that really, really simple. Um, again, with, with other services, there can be a lot of complexity. So what we wanted to do with Transporter was just have it so pretty much you don't have to manage it at all. So you get the Transporter, you plug it in uh, to your network at home or use your wireless router. Uh, you come to our website and it's just going to find it right there and register it right to your account. And then all you do online is you just create the folders you want to share. So maybe a photos folder for sharing with family members, maybe a work documents folder to share with colleagues. And then you just send invites right from the website to the people you want to share with. They accept, you have a copy of the folder, they have a copy of the folder. Anything you put in is in their folder, anything they put in is in your folder. If you organize it, it organizes across all the different copies of the folder. So now if I'm a small business owner, I don't necessarily have to have multiple transporters. I could have one transporter in the office sure. that everyone has access to Absolutely. those shared folders. We're working on this quarter one project, quarter two project, those folders live here. John is working on it, Melissa's working on it, and it's all on this one device. And then when you're off-site, right. you can still be sharing you files. Can just connect right back to the transporter. One of the things that, uh, that I think we've learned about backup or storing files over the years is that if you have to put the files somewhere or get them from somewhere, it's just too difficult. 
what we all want to do, I think, is just work on our laptops or computers and just have the rest of it taken care of. And that's exactly how it works with transporter. You just keep working on your computer, it syncs up the data to the transporter in the background, you know, you, you don't even know it's going on, and then it moves it off-site for you. So you just work on files on your computer in exactly the same way you do now. So for example, I back up my iPhoto library on my computer with the transporter to another location, and I'm just working on iPhoto on my computer in exactly the same way that I did before. Hmm. It's in a connected folder, which is what we call the shared folders. So it's my computer's moving the data to the transporter, and then the transporter's moving that data off-site to another location. So I'm not changing anything about the way I work in iPhoto. Yeah, I have an off-site copy in case, you know, something happens at home and I lose my photos. That's great. Uh, this begins to ship next week? That's right, the end of next week. So it's, it's got to be a nerve-wracking time. And what is, what is the CEO going through as a product uh, is about uh, to ship for uh, the very first time? It's a super exciting time for us. We've, uh, we've had a pretty extensive beta. We have about 100 units out in the field with people like yourself. Right. Um, so we've had a lot of testing. Um, we've been doing that now for about uh, four months. So it's been a pretty extensive beta. So we're pretty sure we've got the kinks out. Um, we had a thousand pre-orders on Kickstarter, which is great, and so those people will get, you know, the shipments will go out literally at the end of next week, and then it'll be available to the public. That's great. Yeah. Um, how can people find out more information if they want to sign up and get a, get a transporter before, or right around launch time? Uh, well, they can come to our website, connecteddata.com, it's all one word, um, or filetransporter.com. Either one will bring them right to the website, and uh, they can learn more about it. They can see videos about the product, read a little about it, um, and they can order right there if they'd like to do so.